guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is going to be a we're gonna start the show the state show vlog. So I'm super super excited. But um so we're leaving Thursday. Today is Tuesday and so I have a little bit of explaining to you do so let me explain this first. So I'm sure um for the for those of you who do not follow me on Instagram um, I did post something saying, please pray for Dakota, um, and y'all were so sweet, and some of y'all DM'd me, DM'd me, like, what's wrong, is he okay, I'm praying for him, and so, um, he was actually limping really, really, really bad, um, so, I was super worried, and it started Sunday, and, um, I was so worried, and we noticed Sunday night, and so, um, my mom noticed him, and we went out there and looked at him. He, there was no heat on his leg, no, I think, swollen. His feet looked fine. And so, we were, it was late, and so we were just going to um, soak it in Epsom salt in the morning. Because, you know, you know I, I always soak it in Epsom salt whenever he's limping, because it could be an abscess or something. And so, um, we did that the next morning. I soaked it all in Epsom salt, and I was getting really worried about him. But, I mean, he was still limping, but he wasn't limping as bad as he was the night before. So, um... Yeah, but I soaked him in Epsom salt almost all day and um, kept his feet cleaned out and stuff. And when I soaked it, I noticed this little, like, cut, like, like kind of a like cut hole-ish, something like that. And it's hoof, and I was taking a picture, and we were going to have our farrier come out and see if he could find anything. And I didn't, I sent it to send it to my farrier, and he knew exactly what it was. He came out, and he said it's an abscess which I was praying, I was kind of praying there was something simple as an abscess or small abscess because abscesses can heal kind of quickly sometimes and so um, if you soak it a lot it'll come out um, if you soak it then soaking in Epsom salt helps it bring out the abscess and it pops sometimes so um, I soaked it and the fairy came out and he squeezed the abscess out and stuff and we're, we were putting biodine on it or iodine it's basically the same thing so he has been doing so much better and that was yesterday so um he this morning i found him limping again i mean after like after the fairy came out um and i cleaned his feet out and stuff then he wasn't really limping anymore and i was like oh my gosh he's so much better now and i did give him butte so but anyway so then he was limping again the next morning and we told the farrier hey he's limping he's like normal after a um abscess bus and stuff like that and so he's like i guess every horse is different so i assume yes so um just it needs to stay clean dry and you need to be putting biodine on it which i had been and stuff too so he's in his stall right now actually you can see him over there he's on stall rest because um it needs to stay dry and it's kind of muddy it's been raining so it needs to stay dry so he's in this pen and he's been doing so much better i've been giving i gave him beef this morning and i've been keeping biodine on his feet keeping them cleaned out and clean so he's doing so much better and it looks like we're going to be able to make state guys. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I'll probably vlog state even if I don't get to ride him, which I doubt. I don't think right now I'm thinking I am. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited guys and we are going to get on with this video starting packing and stuff. So let's go. So a few days ago we went and bought, we didn't buy some of your stuff to give us 10 bills. Okay, to say to state we have it up here in the stud stall of the trailer and um so it's up in there and it's to where nothing can fall out so the hay, hay is safe in the stud stall to where it can't fall back and hit the horses so it's up here in the stud stall hi Esther and then we do I think this is what I'm fixing to do I'm fixing to straighten up in here it obviously needs to be straightened up obviously um, we have shavings up here. We are not sleeping in our trailer. We are staying in a hotel right down the road from the place because it starts Thursday. You run Thursday, you run Friday, you run Saturday, and you run Sunday. So, and we're leaving Monday. So, we're going Thursday and, and coming back Monday. I'm super excited, guys. Um, if we place, then I'll be so happy. If we don't place, I'll still be happy. I got to go to state and stuff. So, I'm super excited. But we're going to get started on cleaning everything up in here so we can fit more stuff in here. Oof. I wonder how I got that angle. 
I tied. Okay, so this carpet was in the tech room, the bottom of the tech room floor. We took it out because there was sometimes water gets in there and we're just not like, we're not going to put it in there anymore. And that needs, this is like a pile that actually just, it's just that it needs to go back to the tech room. And then this is going to go out. I had this in here for like when we stayed in here. And we just sat in here, like, at shows or something, and, um, we just needed to set something down. Um, and I had that in here, but that's it. Um, so I'll show that out, because it takes up a lot of room and stuff. But up here, I'm going to, um, this fan needs to go down here, because it's going to fall. Oh, those don't need to be plugged in. And then. here like the box fans we have box fans for their stalls and stuff so yeah and I'm also making a poster to put on Dakota stall we're all making posters so I'll show you guys that at some point but yeah um I think that's it for like in here um just make your saddle pad that's it for like in here I think and we'll just put the stuff in here later but we do have to bring a humongous saddle rack it's probably gonna go here last because we'll have one that's like an actual saddle rack and then we have one my dad made but it's huge it's made of wood and that's all we need because you have to put your tack and stuff in a tack stall um around your area and so um you have to put like all your tack and your feed and stuff in that because your trailer like you don't, you don't stay at your trailer you know your horses don't stay at your trailer they stay in the stall so yeah, that's pretty much it for in here. Um, Brandon needs to put her water bucket in here. But we got those humongous ones, so we don't have to fill it up as much. But yeah, I think that's it for in here right now. And then here are most of my clothes I'm taking as of, just like for me. Um, this is like when we were tomorrow, I have stuff pulled out. Alrighty, this is what I'm gonna wear to stay. And then this actually just needs to go back in my dresser. But, um,. Yeah, and if I find my bag, that's somewhere in this messy room, but, um, yes, yeah, so, that's what I'm wearing tomorrow, these are all my jeans, almost, except for the ones I have on, I have five pairs of jeans, and that's it, so, I have these that, I really want to wear these to run in, that might not happen, I may run in those jeans, I don't really know right now, hi Hunter, um, but yeah, this is, I'm going to need these jeans. These are all the ones I have. And then I have these dream coach ones that I'm wearing. Then I have all these shirts. I always bring extra. I don't overpack. I just make sure I have anything anybody will ever need. Okay? Just We'll just go with that. So yeah. And then here's my poster board. I was going to use that one and then it kind of got picked up and stuff in. I didn't mess up, but I want to do something else on it. So then I'm probably going to be riding like Dakota. I've been riding all over it already, but like, I'm kind of doing this to this font, or kind of like that font too, but like, I made you go with this font, so, yeah, I'll show you guys what my poster board looks like when we get finished with it, and right now I'm going to go check with my sister to see what we have packed, what we don't have packed, what we need to pack, so. So this is what I have to make sure that's in the trailer, it's not focusing, it's not focusing, there we go, okay. I have to get all this stuff in here, which the feed buckets, 
we're gonna wait to put in there until we the day we leave Thursday because we have to feed I have to feed Dakota in the morning and then I have to feed tonight, tomorrow morning, and tomorrow night, and then Thursday morning. So I'm gonna make sure all this stuff's in the trailer. So the list says six bottles of fly spray, but we probably don't need that much, but we're gonna bring it anyway because you can never overpack. Maybe sometimes so that's three. There is one at the barn. That's three. Five. And I need one more to think there's five. And that's holding that up. So now I have to go find another spray bottle. So there's six bottles. There's five over on the steps. We found some and then I have one down at the barn that I'm using for Dakota right now. So but the things kind of, it's not marked off yet, but I think we have three fly masks in here. So, um, that's one. But I don't know what happened to the fly masks. There's one, I need two more. Because we're taking Ranger. Um. I'm pretty sure they're all up here somewhere. I don't know, I have to ask my sisters where they all went. I could not find any fly masks, but I'm gonna go check on Dakota and do his stuff. So I'm letting him out if he's can. I was letting him out for a little while, let him eat some grass because he doesn't really like to pee. I mean, he likes it, but he's really bored. So I let him out here and eat a little bit, and he's not limping, and I just trotted him. He's not limping, so he's looking great. And I'll show you guys his foot. Come here. Of course, it's probably dirty now, but I'm fixing to put more stuff in it and clean it out. Pick it up. That right there is where the abscess was. And we're putting stuff on it to make it hard, and it's really working. It's, just, it's really hard right there now. So I'm going to be putting a little bit more in there just to make sure. And yeah, he's doing so much better. Um, he actually, I let him, I left him right here by himself while I'm going to up to the trailer to get, start, to get um, some hoof heel. And he walked away. And all the way over here, and there's a ditch down. He went down in the ditch and trotted it up, trotted it up out of the ditch. So by himself. So he's he's doing so much better. I'm really so happy. So I'm just gonna tell you guys some stuff about state when I'm entering and stuff. So what day is this on? Just because I'm standing here waiting for him to get waiting for him to get done eating some grass for a little while. And so yeah, I'm bored. So I am running in arena race. Tilly, you scared little daylights out of me trotting over here. What are you doing? Why are you all excited? It's not feeding time. Would you quit? Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm running in arena race, and I'm running in poles, and I'm running in barrels, and that's it. I'm not doing steak race because we're not really good at steak race. So, yeah. Um, the first event we're going to run on is Thursday, and that's arena race. So I'm glad it's something quick and easy and small. Don't oh, you go walking in the mud, Coda. Get back here. Um, yeah, so I'm glad that's the first thing we'll be running in, so, um, because it's closer and he's still a little bit sore, kind of, not really, like, kind of, you know, I'm maybe giving him buttes and stuff, too, so, um, yeah, then, uh, Friday, we'll have barrels, um, and they'll tell you, like, what word you're running already, like, what number you are, what number you're running, and barrels, we're gonna be there pretty late. I don't know which class is first, but um, I'm running second to last in barrels. So if that's the last class, we're gonna do it all day. Oh, I'm dripping sweat. It's so hot. Okay, it's a little muddy over here, and you need to keep your foot dry. So we're gonna go back over here now. Come here. And then Sunday, I don't have anything on Saturday. Um, I will be running poles on Sunday, and then we'll be going home. Monday, so yeah. We're gonna say hi. Oh hi! Wait, she does it pretty in this altar. Hi! Hi! <laughs> you ready? Somebody called me and it interrupted. I tried to get uh from Texas Luna to answer my phone for when they um <laughs> <what's> <laughs> call it, called me and I didn't know who it 
was. So I was filming yesterday, and it's actually the next day because I forgot to continue to film. And I got distracted. So now we have everything almost packed up. We have everything we like, absolutely have to need, like our saddles and bridles and stuff in here. And we're getting feed. We're loading feed tomorrow. No, we're loading. We have to go get more feed, actually, because we didn't plan out the right amount of stuff we had to get. So we have to go get feed, and then I also have to get off alpha hay. And then we'll load the feed when we get back. So. Everybody says it's hotter in Montgomery than it is any other place in Alabama. Montgomery? Montgomery. Montgomery? Montgomery. Montgomery. Everybody calls it Montgomery. They don't Montgomery. even pronounce it all the way. They say Montgomery. 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 Miami. Where? Do you think these would match my tax set? I remember your tax set. Really? I haven't paid attention to your tax set. <laughs> he's fixing to poop on me. No, he's pooping. He does it every time I does it, but I do his butt. Dakota does this really cute thing where he'll. I'll be doing his front feet, and he'll just turn over and he'll like rest his nose on my back, and it's so cute. Yeah, well, Ranger pulls back and tries to kill me. Well, Dakota's sweet. He's better. Dakota's the best gilding in this pasture. So, like I said earlier, if you caught that, I forgot to continue to film yesterday. So I never found the other fly mask, but we don't really have to have three. Um, okay, but I still have to get all of this. I have to get water buckets, which we're gonna wait to, because I'm using two of them for Dakota right now. I'll put those in there when we leave tomorrow. So it's Wednesday, we're leaving tomorrow, Dakota. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm all packed for my, myself and stuff. I do have to. Kit. We already have hay nets and pretty much everything in the trailer that we can pack right now. We still have to get water buckets and feed buckets tonight. Um, yeah, tonight. So, I'll put that in there tonight after we feed. And then, we're planning on leaving around 6.30ish tomorrow, somewhere around there in the morning. And I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, so, I think I'll put the camera away for a little while because I'm pretty much done. Pretty sure that's all we have left to pack, so yeah. Okay guys, so it's been a long while and I um been working on my post board, my brother helped me and I went to the store and got a few things and got the feed. I've been working on my post board for a while and now I'm gonna go check on Dakota again. He probably needs to um have his feet done again. I'm trying to open this cake. And um then I will try, I'm going to pack feed buckets and stuff tonight after we've been feeding, except for Dakota's because he is going to spend the night in his stall again because it really has to stay dry and stuff, so, so he's going to spend the night and then, um, I cannot get this up. And then I'm going to try, most of the things I have to pack, we can't pack until. Um, tonight or in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up some more fly spray and put in the bottles. So yeah. There's my big boy. Look how cute he is. Hey, big boy. Hey, you big boy. Hi, Bubba. I have so many nicknames for him. He tries to push out, so I have to like pull this off and open it. Hi, big boy. Says, Mommy, can you let me out of here, please? Please? But he cannot get that foot wet. I mean, he just has a little bit of pee in here, but so it's kind of muddy out. So definitely got to put more stuff in there. And it's not like red. It's kind of red. Look at your foot, dude. Um, the reason why it's red right there is because the biodine is red. Kind of, it looks like blood, kind of, but it's not, so.
need to go get you some fly spray. The trailer. Oh, there's a horse fly. I know, I hate horse flies. Go away. Quit biting my baby. Go away. I'm sorry, Coda. Oof. I'm over here eating. Um, he's tied up kind of while I go get him some hay. So since he's in his stall he, and there's no grass, he's got to have hay. So I'm having to fill up his bucket. And this isn't the hay we're taking for state. This is just hay that we had before. So this is why I can't put these in the... And he's uh, So I don't put these in the trailer yet because I'm using them. So I'll put these in after we load up tomorrow. So, yeah. I've been like trotting him just to, like a few steps just to make sure he's good and he hasn't been limping. So, um, I, I am kind of nervous to like, will he lope? Will he still, will he limp while I'm on him? You know, will he limp after I get done running? I don't know. I'm very nervous about that. So, um, if he comes out limping a little bit, he should be fine. I'll just give him some more butte. But, um, if he comes out limping tremendously, like really bad, we'll just have to wait and see how he's doing the next morning or so. So, yeah. I think he sees it. You see it? I can barely see, but filled up as much as I could. So I think we're good for a little while. He's so cute. He feeling a lot better. Dakota. Oh, he got all the horses <laughs> rubbed up. Oh my goodness. Don't hurt yourself. He just snuck out of, I let him off the halter. I was gonna turn around and close the gate. Cause I thought he needed the hay and I'd be able to close it. He just took off out of the pen. Well, at least I know he's feeling better. She started a party. Cody, you don't ever cut down a hill like that. Cotton, leave him alone. Oh my goodness. Dakota, please don't. Please don't. Cotton, oh my gosh. Oh my word. Dakota, look what you started. Look what you started. Oh my gosh. Cotton! Whoa! Cotton! 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 Are you okay? Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! Oh my word! Seriously, I need to calm down. Coda's not even limping after all that running. Like, cotton. <laughs> Guys, I promise she's fine. She stood up after she slid. And she got up and kept running. She's fine. Okay, guys. So it's kind of hard to vlog lately, but in this case, I get to where you can't see me anymore. But I'm getting my fan and putting it in the trailer. Um, and we just need to check on Dakota, and I have to put the fly spray. It's been a while. It's kind of hard to vlog. Oh my gosh, why do people do that? Okay. Why do they just throw this in here? We're going to organize this. Anyway. But yeah, we hooked the trailer up. And we are we have to leave at 5.30 in the morning. Um, so I have to get up super early. And I'm going to go take care of Dakota again. But at first I'm going to do this fast break. So see you guys later. It's, it's the next morning and I still have not brushed my hair yet. But I'm going to do that. So I'm super excited and I have all my stuff. Down here on the floor, and I have some back here too on my bed. And I'm just gonna go check on Dakota and um, do 
his foot thing and loads of stuff up and I have to reorganize the trailer because somebody just threw it in there. So, um, yeah, but I'm gonna go outside. It's still pitch black outside. And, um, I'm wondering if we're gonna have to load in the dark or if it'll be light by time. We're supposed to be leaving at 5.30 and it's hard to get in light. Oh my gosh. Around 6. I just realized my niece's car seat is still in the truck, so we gotta get that out. Okay, so we got stuff everything again. Pretty much everything in here. Almost. There's still a few things we gotta get. We have to get more fans. So you guys know it's blurry, but um, I still I'm gonna go check on Dakota, and then um, yeah, this is most of the stuff, and it's kind of hard to fit everything in here, but that's what we're working with. So Dakota and Abby are down there eating, and um, I'm not looking at the camera because the flashlight's on, but um, most everything is packed in the trailer, and um, hi Kira. And, but we got like everything in here good. We went ahead and got this open. And then, here we've got all of our stuff. Scoop, feed, feed buckets, water buckets, extra bucket, medicine, hay, feed, shavings, feed. Brenda Saddle's gotta go, still gotta go in here. And a bunch of other stuff, so yeah. Ooh, buddy.
So our rangers are pretty well, I hung my hammock at the barn and um, I was hoping for like a 8 or a 9 and I got a 9 so I'm very happy with that and so yeah it's actually a long time after a ring race because like, my phone was out of storage and I kept forgetting to film something. I did this with the lights and I did a different video on my iPad that you guys probably already saw but yeah. So that concludes this first part. I was going to report to you guys. I was going to break up the days because there's certain days I'm running. So I'm going to break up the days to different groups and upload those separately. So this concludes day one of state. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And be on the lookout for my next days. Bye.